Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today is a special day because I have great news for you. You know, I've been doing tutorials for quite a while now and they are a really great way to learn new technologies. But the thing that actually really makes you learn new technologies and programming in general is in combination with tutorials that you also build your own projects. And for quite a while I've been thinking about how I can help you out to do that more um, to basically encourage you that you also build your own projects. And now I have an idea in my mind how we can achieve that together. You know back then when I did game development there was something called Ludum Derry which is basically a game competition, I think it's Yelly. And in that competition programmers had like I think 48 hours of time to build a game around a specific topic or idea. So for example, I think once that the topic was intentional bugs and then all programmers needed to build a game around that concept of intentional bugs. And then at the end of that, after the, those um, 48 hours, the best of these games were just awarded. And I personally thought, why don't we actually do this just with apps? So here I can say and announce, welcome to Philips App Wars in which we will do something very similar to that Ludum Derry, but with Android apps. So how this will work is I will give you a specific topic around which you have one month of time to build an app. And while I give you a topic, that doesn't mean you, you won't become creative. Please be as creative as you can. So for example, if I say the topic is finance, which it isn't, but if it was finance, then the app should be around finances. But what exactly you do is totally up to you. If you do an expense tracker, if you do like a Bitcoin stock pricing app, whatever, that is totally up to you as long as it's related to that topic. And then after a month, I will select the three best projects out of all submissions, present them in a dedicated YouTube video and also give you a shout out if you want that. But also each each of those three winners will get one of my paid courses, my premium courses, for free. So I think that reward is something that might motivate you to actually work on these projects. And on the same time, I can just make a cool YouTube video where I can present the, the best projects. One important thing here is that this is not intended to be, to be made by large groups of people. So that is why I will set the limit to two people per project. So if you want to work together with a friend, then you can do that. Uh, but in case you, you do that in a group, then I think that is quite unfair um, for, for the others who actually participate in this um, app wars. Then you might ask yourself, what makes a project the best project or one of the best projects? For that, I will actually go through different points and rate them on my own. So the first thing I will rate is the UI. So I will just look, did you consider the common UI best practices and just if the UI is overall really appealing to me and looks great. Then the second point in my ranking will be the UX, so the user experience. How is the overall experience when I use the app? Do I intuitively know what I need to do? Do I intuitively know what your app is actually, um, what your app should do? Things like, does it survive screen rotations? Does it have some weird crashes, some weird bugs? So just how the overall user experience is when I use the app. And if these two things are, are great for your app, then I will also consider a third point that I will include in my ranking, which is the code base. So there we'll just consider, did you use a common architectural design pattern? Did you, um, is, how is your code style in general? Did you name your functions well? Did you consider naming conventions? All that stuff that um, goes into a clean coding style will be rated in this third point. And because at the moment I don't have any idea how many submissions I will get, um, but in case that is quite a lot, I can look into every single project and look at the source code because that will be way too much work. Um, so I will only look in that if your UI and UX is actually really good. So if your app has the potential to be one of the best three. And as a fourth point in this ranking, I will consider the idea. So how much do I actually like the idea that you had? Um, how creative is it? How much does it really help someone in real life, that is the fourth point of this ranking. And together 
all these four different points will make up the final ranking that decides if you're one of the if your project is one of the top three projects or not. So for now, I just want to leave that as an experiment here. Um, I will try it out how you like it. We will start this challenge today for the next month. And if you like it, then I'm totally open to make that on a monthly basis and just have such a challenge always running. Well, let's now get to revealing the topic for the first month. And that is memes. So the rest is really only limited by your imagination. You can make a meme creator, you can make something like 9gag, whatever you would like to do, or something completely different. I'll be very excited to see what kind of ideas you, you will actually have and submit to me. And then in a month from now, I will make a video where I will present the top three projects. So how can you actually participate? Now make sure to listen carefully because this is now important and you don't want to get disqualified. After a month, you need to send me your project to my email mail at pl-coding.com. And now the important part is I only accept public GitHub repositories. So you only send me the link. You don't send me your zip file. You don't send me an APK file. If you do that, I will ignore your email. So just use GitHub for your project. Um, that way you can also work together with a friend and then send me the link to your public GitHub repository. Don't make it private. And then I will take a look at that. So once again, please send me that email with the GitHub link, public GitHub repository to my email, mail at pl-coding.com until 2nd of July, 3 p.m. Central European Summertime. Now that is the deadline. Everything that comes afterwards will be ignored. So I really have to draw a line here until which I will accept projects. So 2nd of July, 3 p.m. Central European Summertime. You can use any time converter basically in Google to convert that to your time and then you will know. And one more thing, take a look in this video's description. There you will find a link to my Discord server because in this Discord server, I created a dedicated channel for this format, for this Philips App Wars. In this channel, you will be able to discuss your ideas. You will be able to find maybe a buddy with which you, you can do this project together or just if you have any questions regarding this format, put them there and then we can help each other. I would be very excited to hear about what you think about this idea down in the comments. Um, if you actually want to participate in that, because I have, really have no idea how many of you would really um, participate in something like that. If it's just three people, if it's like 30 people, if it's 100 people, I have no idea. So let's, let's just give it a try, try it out and then um, in a month, we will know more. Thanks for watching. Please let me know below. I wish you an awesome day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.